Hey, good afternoon, everybody. So I wanted to make this video to um, tell you some of the things that are going to happen as you build your business, despite how good your opportunity is, like despite Despite how awesome Laura Life International, my business is, despite how great the opportunity is, these are some things that are that you are going to experience and understand this. This has nothing to do with your success. In fact, it's just a part of the process of the journey of becoming successful in network marketing. So you remembered this. You stick and stay in your opportunity to get your pay. Those people who fall by the wayside as they go along, let them do what they're going to do. But you stick and stay to get your pay. So here are some of the things that are going to happen. As you go on your journey and you are building, you are going to find people who can't take the rejection, who can't take the nose and they're going to give up on themselves and they're going to give up on their dreams and they're going to quit they're going to say oh this is too hard this is harder than i thought it was i can't do it i don't know if it's for me instead of asking the how like how can I learn the skills? How can I develop the skills? How can I be successful? They're just going to throw their dreams to the side and just say, I can't do this. Okay? But know that whether they leave or not, they lose their vision or not, that has nothing to do with your success. Okay? What are some of the other things that are going to happen as you build your business? There are going to be some people, oh, just going, who come in and they're going to be like, oh man, I'm so excited. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened, right? And you're going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to work with this person. I'm so fired up and excited. And then they're going to go MIA on you, missing in action. You'll call them. You won't be able to get them. And you're like, wait a minute, they just paid their money. They said they were so excited. What happened? Well, Jim Rohn explains it like this. Don't even sign up for that class and trying to figure it out. Just say like Jim Rohn would say, it was the birds. It's the birds got them. So when people come in all excited and fired up and you can't find them afterwards, just like, what happened to them? It was the birds. The birds got them. Now you're going to find some people who come in and they actually even get started. And they tell you for two weeks, wow, this is like the best thing. And they even start putting people in. And then after that two weeks, or maybe four weeks, all of a sudden, you don't hear them anymore. You don't see them anymore. And you're like, wait a minute, where did they go? And you call them. And you message them. And they don't even call you back. Yep. If it hasn't happened, it will. But as Jim Rohn says, don't even sign up for that class. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. If they're not responding back to you, especially for a long period of time, something has happened. A distraction has come up. They've changed their course and they're not trying to communicate with you. And it's something that's going on within them. Don't you even worry about it. You keep focused and you keep going after your dreams. People are going to do what, they, what they're going to do. That's why you use the law of large numbers. And it doesn't even matter what those people do because you are prospecting a lot of people you're talking to a lot of people and so the numbers are going to play out and you're still going to win despite those people who decide to go another direction okay it's okay so what else is going to happen so you'll have those people who give up on their dreams you'll have those people who can't take the rejection you'll have those people who trick you you know you think they're gonna be so good and then you know they go MIA um, on you and I can get into a video and, and and talk about some training of some of the things you do like drilling down and and getting connected to um, your people's people so just because they leave doesn't mean their team have to leave have, has to leave as well so um, but anyway that's a whole nother training but what I want you all to understand is that you have got to get the mindset that you've made a great decision. You've got 
great products you've got a great compensation compensation and this is where you are going to build let me tell you what's going to happen some people will get distracted and like ooh, they got this over there and then they'll go over there and wouldn't you know it six months later the this that they went over there for your company ends up having the this and you didn't know it was always in the plans anyway because you're not in the board meetings, but you were chasing that shiny object. You've got the shiny object syndrome. So every company that comes up with, ooh, something good or something great, you try to run to that company, run to this company, run to that company, and then you never have a foothold anywhere. So you're chasing the money instead of learning how to develop the skills and build a long-term residual income. And then you look and you didn't hop hop to hip it hop from company to company and you don't have anything solid built Ooh, I'm stepping on some toes I hope it hurts and I hope you change it make a decision now if you like company hopping if company hopping is what you do and you sign up for that class and you know it and that's what you love keep on hopping hippity hop 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 keep on hopping if you like it do it but if you truly want to put something in place for the future that's going to be here even when you stopped then I would suggest that you kind of like dig in that you learn the skills that you need to learn to become the professional that you need to be that you grow up in the business and stop thinking everything is going to be easy and know that it's not going to be easy that it's going to be worth it know that you've got to develop the skills know that you've got to set the goals because it is the business a business know that you've got to learn some strategies and and you've got to take continuous persistent consistent action right you got to learn that network marketing is not a team sport. So you need to not do the business by yourself in isolation, but truly connect with some other like-minded people and get focused and grow together. Okay. Everything is not always going to go your way. <laughs> Sometimes you're going to have to regroup and figure out a, a little better plan. Maybe you thought something was going to work this way and you just kind of regroup. But if you got a great company, if you have, um, visionary leaders at corporate who truly have a they're not just trying to have a good run but they're looking to build a legacy company that they make sure you get paid on time that you have great products of value that true the great products that bring value to people's lives that actually work and create testimonials um and then your company has like the cash and the financial backing to be sustainable and you've got great leadership, then stick and stay where you are. Stick and stay in Lorelei. Stick and stay wherever it is, a company that you are in. Now, if you don't have the leadership, know that you've got to, I mean, you just can't do this business by yourself. I'm sorry. If you, if you don't have any experience, especially, or you've never really had success, you've got to get connected to a team that can help you to win where you get the training and you develop the skills and you have the infrastructure and you have the connectedness to people who are looking to rise up okay so those are just some of the points some of the um um tips that i wanted to give you so no guys no and teach this to your team when you make a decision and you've made it a quality decision stick with it let me tell you what successful people successful people are decisive they are quick to make up their mind and then they are slow to change it so if you've made up your mind whether it's Laura life or whatever else that you're doing just make a decision and a commitment to win do whatever it takes to get the job done. Do whatever it takes to change your zip code, to change your lifestyle, to change your bank account. And I, I feel sorry for those people who just get swayed. The wind blows, they get swayed another way, and they just go tracing that, that other rabbit, right? And give up something good that they have, and they're going to be like, oh my God, why did I? I should have just stayed where I was. And I'm telling you guys, 
it's, it's okay when you do more than one business, but you have to have built up one and have gotten that solid and producing, right? And you've got something in place before you start building another one. So there's nothing wrong with multiple streams of income. By all means, we need them. But especially when you're new and you're learning the industry, you want to get something in place before you go to the next thing, okay? And so um, with that, guys, I uh, hope this video has helped you. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. So many great things going on, but I just wanted to connect with you and your mindsets as it relates to what it truly takes to win and knowing that people come, people go, there's attrition, you know, people change course, they change vision. It's just par for the course. You're dealing with people. You got one of the things I love about this industry is it teaches you so much about people and teaches you so much about human behavior. Some of you all are trying to do this business and just like sell your product and tell people about how much money you can make and you're not really learning about people, what motivates them and what makes them tick. You know, you gotta learn about human behavior. It's so important. So with that guys, you all have an awesome day. Hopefully something I've said has impacted you. If you wanna reach out to me, you can inbox me. If you're seeing this on YouTube, send me a comment, and you can always just straight call 443-864-9440. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Have an awesome day.